As with most loadable families in Revit, there are default view titles that come with the program, but you can create your own view titles to match company standards. View titles are very visible to clients and other consultants, just like title blocks. View titles are controlled within viewport families inside of Revit. The current view is a sheet. Zoom into the view title and you can see that it includes the detail number, view name, and view scale. When you select the view title, you cannot simply open it in the family editor as is the case with most loadable families. Instead, you actually select the viewport. Click Edit Type in the Properties palette to open the Type Properties dialog. As you can see in the Family dropdown, viewports are system families. You can also have several types of viewports based on the type parameters shown here. The first parameter is Title. When you click in the Value field and expand the dropdown, you can see the view title families that are loaded into this project. Pay attention to the other parameters here. You can choose whether or not to show the view title for each viewport type, and there are several options for the extension line. You can select whether or not it is visible, and you can set its line weight, color, and line pattern. So be aware that the extension line parameters are controlled by the viewport and not the view title family. Click Cancel to close this dialog and then expand the application menu. Choose Open Family. In the Open dialog, open the Annotations folder and scroll to the bottom. Select ViewTitle.RFA or mViewTitle.RFA and click Open. This is the family that is currently being used in the project. Once the family opens, the view title appears as it did on the sheet, except the extension line is not here. Use the keyboard shortcut VG to open the Visibility Graphic Overrides dialog. On the Annotation Categories tab, Turn on Reference Planes and click OK. These reference planes define the origin. When used in a viewport inside a project, the extension line begins at this origin. It's best to leave these reference planes where they are and create your custom view title around them so that you know the location of the extension line. When you select the number 1, you can see that it is actually a label by looking in the Properties palette. The view name and scale are also labels. If you were to use text, whatever you typed would appear in every viewport that the view title was used. The labels, on the other hand, reference the actual parameters of the view. Select View Name and then click Edit Label in the contextual ribbon. Revit displays the Edit Label dialog. Here, you can add one of the available category parameters to labels, and then, when the label is loaded into a project, it reports the parameter value. You can even add a shared parameter to this list in order to add a custom parameter. In this case, the View Name parameter has been added to the label in the View Title. In the Category Parameters list, select View Scale. Then click Add Parameter to Label. In the Label Parameter section, you can control the spaces between the parameters, add a prefix or suffix, specify a sample value, or choose to add a break line in between the parameters. When you select Break, you cannot control the spaces between the parameters. Add a space and then type the at symbol in the suffix field for view name. You can also use the controls at the bottom to edit the order of the parameters or edit the units for parameters with units. Click OK to close the dialog. Now select the original view scale label and delete it. 
Next, delete the circle around the detail number label and move the label up to align with the other label. Lastly, switch to the Create ribbon and activate the Line tool from the Detail panel. Select Rectangle in the Draw panel and create a rectangle around the Detail Number label, starting at the origin. Click Modify to end the command, and then click Load into Project. In the Family Already Exists dialog, select Overwrite the Existing Version. Now you have a custom View Title tag. If you want to save this View Title tag family, make sure to use the Save As tool so that you do not save over the original family.